Hey there friends and welcome to another edition of Quick Tip Tuesday and sorry to confuse you about all the different, you know, video series we have going on right now, but I just need to bounce back to this one really quick because it just seems like it would work really well with my, my schedule at the moment because it's the end of the month, I've had a tenant move out, as many of you know I do rental property management, and so the house is totally empty and our family is here cleaning. And one of the tasks we have to do while we're here today is cleaning the carpets. So, they're really bad, which I'll show you in a second. I'll show you the before. We already cleaned the carpets in the bathroom, or the bedrooms and the hallway. Now I'm tackling the uh, living room here, which is of course a really high traffic area and it's probably the worst carpet in the house, obviously. So anyway, I do own a carpet cleaning machine. This is for the business. And so yeah, every time a tenant moves out, you know, this is one of the tasks I tackle a fair amount. We also clean the carpets in our own home, but I do those a little bit differently. So the solution that goes inside of this is A, a really noxious chemical and it smells really terrible, but B, it's also really expensive. So I really dislike buying and using it. So I found some solutions that make it a lot less expensive and then a lot, you know, debatably maybe somewhat healthier. Depends on which of the two options, you know, that I present, you know, they have different levels of that. So on this particular carpet, because it's the rental, I have chosen to go ahead and use something that was store-bought. And I use Tide Laundry Detergent. This is working really, really well at lifting out the stains. As much as I hate to say it, Tide does work really well at getting stains out of clothes, so it is also really good at getting stains out of carpets. And it's a whole lot less expensive, again, than the chemicals that we would buy. So I use anywhere from a half of a teaspoon to a whole teaspoon of this, depending on the soil level in the carpets. And then um, for this what, reservoir tank, I'm not really sure how much it holds. I'm going to guess it's probably pretty close to, uh, I don't know, three quarters of a gallon or so. I'm not entirely sure. So I'll use about half of a teaspoon again for stuff like the bedrooms, and then a whole teaspoon is how much I've used in all this water for this high traffic area. If I'm doing my carpets at home, instead of the laundry detergent, you know, that's store-bought, I will use something more natural, either a natural one, even a homemade one, that sort of thing. And it's much more healthy. I don't, I'm not as worried about it with my pets and children, you know, and it just works really well. But again, we don't make our carpets quite as dirty at home as the renters do. Nothing against the renters, it's just that there are carpets in the living room and we don't have carpet in our living rooms, we just have one in the bedrooms. Anyway, so let me go ahead and show you the before and then we'll show you the after on how well this actually works. Okay, so this is from the front door of the rental unit here. And as you can see right here in the doorway, there's not only a pretty dark spot here next to where, you know, it hasn't been as used, but also a line from where the door seems to sit or whatever. So. You know, not expecting a miracle, I'm just hoping it's better. Of course, there's a dark spot in the hallway area there. And then this is where some people have had TV or other furniture. And then the last people actually had like a sectional sofa that went from over here and then an L across. And then they had an ottoman right in the center. And you can obviously see the wear uh, pattern of the carpet here in kind of this donut shape. And then off to this side, you can see the wear where it leads from uh, this main area over to the hallway. So yeah, this is the before of the carpet before we clean it. And while I said it doesn't work perfectly, but it does work pretty well, we'll see how well it gets the stains out. Look at that water. That is just nasty. Another thing really quick is that when you are filling up your reservoir tank here, you want to make sure to use hot water because it is much better at cleaning things than cold water is. And done! So here is how it turned out in the doorway. You can't even see that line anymore. The donut thing. You can see the lines from where I cleaned it, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Instead of it being old and gross carpet, it's old, but it's not gross anymore. In fact, I think it turned out pretty good. A lot of the traffic wear and lines are all gone now. Well, that's a shadow. There we go. 
this doorway a lot lighter too yeah I say it looks a lot better and so yeah that bottle of um, laundry detergent that I bought was a dollar at the dollar store and I used about a quarter of it so this was about 25 cents worth of material to make the carpet look this much better now before we go uh, I do have to say a couple things they always say test a small inconspicuous place to make sure it works out fine and then it's not gonna like stain your carpet or you know bleach it out too much or anything like that so I would recommend that too and then the last thing is some people's carpet cleaners actually have it written in the warranty that if you don't um, use their products your warranty will be uh, void so yeah just be careful about that if the warranty is important to you you know and you don't want to forfeit that or whatever obviously that's something to consider so yeah but I own this machine it's not a commercially rented one I can use whatever I want in it I don't really care and so this is what I choose to do and this is how I save money on the job so hopefully this video was helpful to you friends we'll see you next time I'm frugal green girl thanks for watching